This episode of Outboard Jet Tips and Maintenance, we're going to be looking at the thermostat. I recently had an issue with the thermostat, um, I'm assuming not um, opening properly. Uh, my Yamaha 30, the, uh, the boat was peeing properly, but uh, the um, boat was going to limp mode. It was overheating. So I ended up taking apart the thermostat and uh, uh, checking it out and seeing uh, what was wrong. So today we're going to have a look, a closer look at the thermostat and do a little uh, test on it to see at what temperature the thermostat actually opens uh, compared to a brand new Yamaha thermostat. So uh, let's get started. So this here is the thermostat for an outboard motor or outboard jet. And uh, what it does is it actually opens when it gets to uh, a certain temperature, usually around 120, 125 degrees, um, the thermostat opens and allows water to get inside the water jacket, the water cooling jacket around the cylinders and the head. So that's basically the purpose of this is to keep the motor running at the, uh, I guess, the designed uh, operating temperature. So sometimes these do fail and it doesn't open and uh, yeah, you run into uh, overheating issues. So yeah, let's go have a look at the actual motor and I'll show you where these things are actually located in an outboard uh, jet. So here's an example of a cylinder head and you can see the water jacket in amongst all the uh, the spark plugs come in, water cooling jacket, and the water just circulates right through there. So no water circulates through here when the thermostat is closed. But once it gets to operating temperature, that thermostat opens and allows the water to filter through all these little... So here's the thermostat here, two bolts holding it in and a little gasket uh, underneath. So let's uh, take this apart and we'll show you what it looks like. So now we have the bolts off, let's take the uh, cover off and there it is. You can see the thermostat sitting uh, right there. So let's pull that out and have a look. And yeah, a little corroded, a little, uh, we can clean that up, but I have a suspicion it is not opening at the uh, correct temperature. So let's uh, go put this in a pot of uh, boiling water and uh, along with some new ones and we'll, we'll see what, uh, what happens. So here's four thermostats. Uh, Here's the one that I just pulled out of the Yamaha 30. Uh, here's another one I had laying around. Uh, here's another brand new one that was in a brand new motor and a brand new Yamaha um, packaging thermostat. So we'll have a look at this and just see uh, what the different temperatures are that these open at and see if this one is indeed uh, has failed. So here we have our four thermostats that we're testing. The one on the left is the brand new Yamaha thermostat. The one, next one over is uh, from a brand new motor. The other two are used ones and the one on the far right is one that I thought I might be having issues with. So uh, let's watch this temperature come up and see when the thermostats uh, begin to open. Looks like at about 125 degrees they're all beginning to open almost uh, simultaneously. They are continuing to open even more. There we go, almost 147, 148 degrees. Most of them look like they're almost fully open. So yeah, four fully functioning uh, thermostats. So four fully functioning thermostats, but just to be safe, plus we have a brand new thermostat, we're gonna put this back in the Yamaha 30 and uh, yeah, it just fits right in here and just sits down like that. And then uh, we'll put the cover back on. Gasket's still in good shape. If you're taking these off and they're older motors, just be careful because the gasket can rip. And then, yeah, put the bolts back in and away we go. So that's it for uh, thermostats on uh, outboard jets. So there's always a little bit of debate about thermostats in um, outboard motors. Is it okay to run? Uh, outboard motor without a thermostat. Well, if your thermostat uh, goes on you and uh, your motor's overheating, definitely you can run it without um, a thermostat. Just allows more water. It might take a little bit longer to warm up. Um, there's a little bit more debate about uh, older two strokes that um, a lot of people say you can actually run them without a uh, thermostat um, full time and it won't do any damage, but um, still lots of people who debate both sides of that. Um, but yeah, 
the um, you know these engines are designed by the manufacturers to run at a certain operating temperature, and that's essentially what these thermostats do: is open at a certain level, allow the uh, cold water um, that you're sucking in to come in and uh, cool the engine. So yeah, probably preferably to use one, um, and yeah, maybe check it every so often, make sure it's not corroded and uh, full of gunk. So yeah, that's uh, thermostats for outboard motors, outboard jets. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode.